Hello students, welcome back to my math channel Math Lab. In this video, I will answer you question number 7 from Pierce and Excel A level exam for Mechanics 1. This exam is taken in May June 2024. Paper reference code is WME01 slash C1. Two speed boards A and B are each moving with constant velocity. The velocity of A is 40 km due east. The velocity of B is 20 km on bearing of angle. Angle is the line between 0 to 90 where 10 alpha equals to 4 over 3. The boards are modeled as particles. Find in terms of I and J the velocity of B in km per hour. Actually, we need to find the velocity of B. For this, first of all, let me draw the triangle by using this 10 alpha equals to 4 over 3. And bearing is angle alpha. Let me draw the coordinate axis here. So we know that uh, along this line, along x-axis, it is east and here it is north, west and south. These are the directions. Now, velocity of B is 20 km on bearing of angle alpha. First draw the velocity vector that is making angle alpha on bearing. Bearing is always measured clockwise from north. This is the velocity vector for B and it is on bearing of angle alpha. Here we can draw a perpendicular from this head. Like this, we will get two components. If this angle is alpha, this angle is alpha as well by using alternate angles. So, complete this triangle. Here we have alpha tan alpha equals to 4 over 3. We know that that is opposite over adjacent. So, opposite is always the side opposite to the angle. Opposite to the angle side is 4. This is 4. And this will be the adjacent for this triangle. Okay, so this will be three. By Pythagorean theorem, we can find the hypotenuse for this triangle. You know that Pythagorean theorem: hypotenuse square is equals to adjacent square plus opposite square. Square root of this one will give you the hypotenuse. The adjacent is three. Three square opposite is four. Four square and take square root. This is nine plus sixteen. Twenty-five square root of twenty-five is five. So hypotenuse for this triangle is five. If you look at the question, the velocity of vector B is 20 km per hour. But here, the, this vector is representing the velocity vector, okay? Uh, because it is at the bearing of angle alpha, and we got uh, this velocity. Velocity is 5 here. Uh, but we need to get the velocity 20 km per hour. How could you make uh, 5 to 20? Just multiply this one by 4. You cannot multiply only hypotenuse to get uh, 20. You have to multiply the other components as well. Okay? So let me show you the new hypotenuse you can get easily. Like uh, this is 16 square plus 12 square. This is 16 and this is 12. Take square root of this one. So this will give you 20 as well. So that's why we are multiplying here for. Now uh, you can easily find the velocity vector. Velocity vector will be equals to, you know, it is always x component i plus y component g. This velocity vector. The component of velocity along x-axis and along y-axis. So x-axis component is 16 and y-axis component is 12. Therefore, velocity of vector b will be equals to 16i plus 12j. So this is the velocity vector for for both b. So first part is done. Hopefully you understand it. Now at noon, the position vector of a is 20 20j. Uh, you can write it uh, into the column vector form 20j so i component will be 0 and uh, j component is 20 we can write like this and uh, this is the starting position of uh, the port vector a and the position vector of b is 10i plus 5j so position vector at the starting point will be 10 and 5 so this is column vector for this one the starting position vector starting point this is called starting point at time t hours after this is the position vector for vector A. So this is the position vector of vector A. And position vector of vector B is S. We could find it. Find an expression for S in terms of T, I and J. So position vector for A after time T is given here. And we need to find the position vector of B after time T. The standard formula for finding the position vector 
we can use this vector formula that is the standard formula or vector equation of the finding the position of uh, any object after time t this is you have to memorize this one this is called starting point plus v v is the direction vector t so r naught is the starting point and v is the direction vector and t we want to find the position vector of p therefore you can use the values r naught for d the starting position of p is this one so it will be 10 and 5 velocity of uh, v uh, of b is 16 and 12 so you can write as 16 and 12 t combine it 10 plus 16 t 10 plus 16 t and here 5 plus 12 t i'm writing it into column vector form better you write in the standard form of writing the vectors you know this is the i component 10 plus 16 t i plus 5 plus 12 t j let's move back here position vector of b is represented by s therefore we can write here s instead of writing s r b so you can better write as is according to the question so this is the position vector of b after time t so second part of this question is done Show that at time t hours after noon, a b vector equals to this one. You need to find vector a b. Last uh, c part, a b vector is always equals to the position vector. We always uh, subtract the tail from head. The position vector of b minus position vector of a. This is the formula of finding the vector. You know, if you are finding a b, this is the rule actually head minus tail why it is like that let me show you this is the position vector of a position vector is always measured from origin let's say this is point a and this one this is point b so this is the position vector of b let's say this one this is the position vector of a r a and this is the position vector of b r b and we want to find a b uh, by using head to tail rule actually uh, you know starting uh, there are two ways of uh, to reach at point b one way is this one that is the shortcut okay that is rb and the alternate way is this path oa plus ab you can write as ra plus vector ab so you can get the value of ab from here this will be this moves to the other side okay this moves to the other side it will be rb minus ra actually this is the reason why we are subtracting the tail from the head using this way is better i think uh, subtracting the tail from the head uh, so it will save your time uh, this is the actual way actually okay now plug in the values rb vector we just found it uh, that is s in fact better use the vector form 6 10 plus 16 t 10 plus 16 t 5 plus 12 t minus position vector of a is uh, given here that is 20 j and 40 t i uh, be careful in this case uh, in writing the column vector because uh, i component is 40 t don't miss it out okay and the j component is 20 so we we'll write 20 here so be careful in uh, writing this one maybe you will miss that this is uh, the j component and this is the i component okay so plug in the value for this as well this will be 40 t and 20 10 plus 16 t minus 40 t the answer is 10 minus 20 40 5 plus 12 t minus 20 the answer is you know 12 t better you write this way 12 t minus 5 minus 20 is minus 15 we want our answer into i and j form uh, so expand this one so vector a b will be equals to 10 minus 24 t i this is the i component and here 12 t minus 15 j this is as required we need to show that the vector a b equals to 10 minus 24 t i plus 12 t minus 15 j so part c is done hopefully you understand this part as well let's move on part d 
show that bots will never collide to prove this part uh, we can consider if they collide if they collide they will be at the there will be no difference you know they will be at the same position vector position vector of a and position vector of b will be equal uh, this is the one method or you can consider this a and b uh, the difference between a and b will be uh, zero and zero you know zero component i and zero component chain so this method the, uh, both method works there are two conditions you can write uh, both ways will give you the same answer by the way uh, you can consider a b vector equals to zero and zero okay or you can use this method r a position vector equals to r b okay both method works uh, so i'm choosing this one because a b vector is already given there that is uh, we just proved it so we will consider the i component and j component equals to zero because a and b they will be at the same position there is no, dis uh, no difference between these two boards okay to solve part d i will consider this column vector for a b uh, as i told you earlier like for part d if the boards if the boards collide the position vector a b the vector a b will be equals to zero and zero okay so a b is better you write this way this will be 10 minus 20 40 and 12 t minus 15 equals to 0 and 0 so equate the components the i component this is the i component 10 minus 20 40 is equals to 0 right here the j component this is 12 t minus 15 equals to 0 uh, from here we'll get the time t you know this will be equals to 24 goes to the right side and 10 divided by 24 so t will be equals to 5 over 12 if we get uh, the same time for both components it means they are colliding okay if we are not getting the same time there is no time when they are at the same same point okay uh, so they will never collide it means okay from here this component we will get the answer for t that will be 5 over 12 so simplify this time it will be 5 over 4 so these two components uh, there so these two times are not equal let's say this is time 1 and uh, t1 and t2 they are not equal actually so if they are equal it means uh, at that time they will collide because times are not same times are not same therefore they will never collide therefore boards will never collide they will never collide so this part is done as well. If you have any question or any doubt in this part or previous parts, please let me know right in the comment box. Uh, let's move on to the last part of this question. That is, find the distance between the boards when the bearing of B from A is 225. So we already got the vector AB and uh, you can find the bearing uh, by drawing that vector AB. And let's say, let me draw here the vector AB the coordinate axis uh, bearing uh, for, draw the vector a b and that is making angle 225 with the north for sure okay 225 so 225 will be somewhere here you know this is north and we uh, this is vector a b vector a b so this angle angle is always measured from north so it is 225 225 degrees you know from here to here it is 270 you know that this angle from here to here this angle is 270 degrees okay 270 degrees uh, so the remaining part you can find out here 270 minus 225 will give you the answer 45 so this angle is 45 for sure okay so draw the components of this vector a b this component the j component and this component is the i component let's uh, move back to previous part the i component uh, for that uh, vector is 10 minus 24 t 10 minus 24 t this is the i component for vector a b and the other component the j component that is 12 t minus 15 so these are two components uh, we know that uh, if the right triangle is making angle 45 degrees if a right triangle is making angle 45 degrees here you know uh, these two components are always equal this component is equals to this one uh, because this angle is 45 degree and uh, in right triangle the other angle is also 45 degrees if these angles are 45 
so thus these two sides are same x and y are same okay you know the sides opposite to the equal angle are always equal so therefore we can write here but because they are making angle uh, 45 degrees therefore these two components are equal it is isosceles triangle we can write here 12t minus 15 equals to 10 minus 2040 2040 becomes positive so it will be 3060 you know 20 plus 2040 will be 3060 and this 15 goes to the right side it will be 25 from here you will get the value of t that is 25 over 30 vector ab is equals to 10 minus 2040 and 12t minus 15 replace the value of t here it will be 10 minus 24 into uh, 25 over 36 and this will be 12 into 25 over 36 minus 15 the solve the i component by using calculator that calculator will give you the answer as minus 20 over 3 and calculator will give you the answer for the lower part for sure it will be the same because the components are same it will be minus 20 over 3 the two components will be same for sure now you need to find the distance between a and b we want to find the magnitude of a b so it will be equals to by using pythagorean theorem so it will be uh, minus 20 over 3 whole square plus minus 20 over 3 whole square so it will be 400 over 9 plus 400 over 9 square root so simplifying 400 400 will give you the answer 800 don't add denominators okay add the numerators only so solve it by using calculator your calculator will give you the answer as 20 square root of 2 over or you can write in three significant figures by pressing st there so it will be 9.43 kilometers so both answer works hopefully you understand this question question number seven if you have any question or any doubt please write in the comment box thank you